Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters Today is the first video of Ips Designs In today's video, I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to do this 3D effect in Photopea For those of you who don't know what Photopea is It's just like Photoshop but for free Okay, now here we are on the home page To start a new document, all we have to do is press new project And choose from one of these I'm going to go with the YouTube thumbnail You can go with any of them, it doesn't really matter Double click. Okay, now we've got a new document open. I'm going to press T and write out my text. Okay, now we've got our text up. I'm going to put this in the middle. Actually, let's make this bigger. It's quite small. Okay. Okay, now we've got our text here. I'm going to go here to the layers panel. If you can't find your layers panel, go here to the window bar and you got all your panels here to choose from. So right here is the layers panel which we are on right now. Okay, select off that. And now we go on this layer, our text layer, or wherever you want to do the 3D effect on. And we go on here onto the empty space and we double click. And now we've got this layer style panel show up. Okay, let's put this down, scroll. Okay, now we're going to change the color of the text and here is overlay, check it, go on it, and right now it's black and you can change to any color, I'm feeling like a bright yellow, oops, bright yellow, okay nice, press ok, and I'm going to add a stroke as well, if you add a stroke, try not to have it too thick, like this or it's just gonna look quite mushy but don't have it too thin like this have it somewhere in between so something like something like this yeah okay we'll leave it like this there we go now we got this our color has changed and we got a stroke now don't need that Right, in the same panel, we go down and we see 3D. Just check on it, and straight away you notice a 3D effect. This is not the color I want, obviously, but we can change it right here. So you can change the angle of the 3D effect right here, right here, anywhere. I'm gonna put it at negative 30. Check. There we go. I'm gonna change this to a black. And then check. And right here you can change the opacity to make it like a 3D shadow. So yeah, as you can see it's like a shadow effect. But I'm gonna make it fully 3D. Okay, there we go. This is already good enough, but if you want to, you can mess around with the distance, make it really big or really small. Actually, that's or really small some something like this should be yeah something like this should be okay and if you want to you can shrink it so as you can see it goes in but I'm not gonna do that and also down here you got the light angle so you can make some light effect as you can see it's like a gradient if you change the color of the 3D effect, it might look better. But I'm going to keep it default. Wait. 90. There we go. And then, that's it to be honest. But, if you want to make the text look better, go back on the layer style panel, and go on this op option, bevel and emboss check and straight away you can see the shadows and highlights appear on the text but I don't really want the shadows so we're gonna go down and we're gonna put this down so right now there's no shadows and we're gonna put the highlights all the way up so right now it's making it more bright bolder now Right here, you just want it to be on in the bevel, which is the default for me, and smooth, and up. 
If you want you, you can put this one down. But that's personal preference. And here we're going to use this soon. And here the contour, press on here, the upside down triangle, not on here, or it'll show a graph editor, which you don't want to do right now. So go here, and this is just like different ways on to show the highlights and shadows. I recommend going with something like this, or this, like one of the spiky ones. I'm going to go with this one. Okay, now we've got it done. We're going to go to the angle. I'm going to go all the way out. There we go. So you want this number. You can change this number to anything. But you just want this number to be zero. So you want it to be all the way out. Because if you put it back in. Right now you can't see it. But later on you see it will go dull. And now. If you mess around with the depth and size you can see it makes a shiny effect like a metallic effect almost oh but before that I want a gradient so leave that there I'm gonna put a, not pattern a gradient overlay so it gets a blend effect go on this tab press on the gradient actually let's see what they got here that looks cool. Okay, right here there are some already gradients you can choose from. But I'm going to make my own one. So go back on the default. There we go. And go on the black one. Change the color. I'm going to make this a nice dark orange. Something like this. And on this side. A nice yellow perfect perfect so as you can see it's like a sunset kind of vibe actually let's, let's make this a bit darker get the effect oh great perfect okay press ok oops there we go and now we go back to the bevel on boss and already you can see the text is looking way a lot better a lot lot better and right now it's up to you how to do it it's up to personal preference you can mess around with it you can change the contour to one of the other spiky ones like this one like this one is really strong or that one or this I mean you can just mess around with it but for me, I'm just going to leave it like this. Give it a nice, slight, metallic effect. Okay, that's it for this video. It's quite a short video, but a quick tutorial on how to do this 3D effect in Photo-P. I hope you guys enjoy it, and inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.